Everybody loves superheroes. Well, except for this guy. But did you know that even though superheroes have been around for thousands of years, they only became popular 80 years ago? Really? Couldn't they just use their powers to get popular sooner? Superheroes were revived as a concept during the 1930s. Ask your grandparents or even great-grandparents about that. Why were they revived? To talk about the problems of the era, especially between the two world wars. Sure, they wore their underpants outside their suits, but they were still super cool. All thanks to Superman, the strongest superhero. <gasps> Maybe. I'm sure he could even open a jar of pickles easily. Superman was created to influence the Americans to stand up and fight in the war. But did you know, Superman was meant to be bald. Thank God that didn't happen. Before Superman, there were many superheroes. But none of them had any superpowers. And who likes a superhero without superpowers? Nobody. Anyway, this purple suit man, Phantom, was the first official superhero. He was a masked man who punched and kicked bad people using his cool martial arts skills. If you are what you eat, the Phantom probably ate eggplants all the time. Ew. Like Phantom, Every superhero in the early days looked pretty much the same. A mask, tight clothes and this swishing cape. But the look evolved over time. Maybe the tights were too uncomfortable. Ow! Now we have so many superheroes. With different powers and from different countries and of different genders too. And isn't Wonder Woman the coolest? I think so. Okay. So if superheroes were revived to influence people, does that make them the first ever influencers? Wonder what their social media looked like. 